<laughs> there's an ad campaign in the subways, and it goes for the subway in New York City. It says, uh, they're all over the place. It says, sexual harassment is a crime, even on the train. You know. <laughs> I think everybody knows that. I feel like it's just like one pervert, like one guy. It should, it should just say, hey, sexual harassment is a crime, even on the train, Steve. Knock it off already, you know? <laughs> there's one guy walking around, hey, what's up, ladies? Boobs and butts. Uh, next stop, boobs. You know, it's the best train ever, yeah. Oh shoot, I didn't see that sign yesterday. I'm not bad, ladies, no disrespect, all right? I want to be upset, but this is still cool, okay? So, every crime is a crime upstairs and downstairs in the subway, I think, right? You can't just go walking around like, dude, you punched that lady in the face? Yeah, fuck you, this is the A train, it's cool down here. I think so. I think so. Yeah. People yell shit all the time, especially in New York, wherever you go, people just have the that is just yell shit at people. I was called a big fat fuck the other day in public. <laughs> Out of nowhere. I don't think I'm the big fat F type yet. You know, a couple more pounds, maybe. You know, I'm, a big, I'm a big guy, though. 6'6", 240. So are most linebackers, but we look a little different in the locker room. <laughs> so, here's what happened. I'll tell you the story. Um, where I live in the city, right across the street, uh, there's an Amish market every Saturday morning, right? So me and my wife, we always go get our berries and fruits and stuff for the, for the week. And um, we're picking stuff out. She's at the strawberry table. There's a table the size of the stage. Big table full of strawberries. There's no one else there. There's plenty of room. Uh, my wife's picking them out. I'm just standing behind her, thinking about cupcakes and stuff, you know? And um, I see this lady in the distance. She's just, she's coming by. She's just like, she's kind of, maybe a little, kind of like that lady. She's just like, just like this, you know, just like really angry. And she's holding a box of figs. Like, this is the weirdest thing to pick out first figs. Who gets figs? Come on, it's like blueberries and stuff. So she's, uh, she's getting closer and closer, she's like not happy with the strawberries. And I see her and I'm like, she's getting close to my wife, I'm like, this is gonna get interesting, what's gonna happen here, you know? So I'm watching, uh, she's getting like, she's like an inch from my wife and she just, she goes, boom! She like, bumps my wife with a butt and she goes, excuse me! And like grabs a bunch of strawberries, right? There's plenty of berries, so my wife's like, what the heck? And I'm like, what's the matter, lady? And she's like, oh, she like grabs a bun, she goes to walk away, she drops her figs on the floor, so I'm like, haha, that's what you get, you know? <laughs> so she's all mad, she's like picking everything up, and she goes to her stomp away, and I'm like, bye, have a great day, you know? She turns around, and she goes, you big fat fuck. Like, oh. And just walks away, I was like, what the hell? I'm like, that was a very New York moment, I had no idea what could happen. <laughs> so I go up, I say, hey lady, hey lady! You apologize to my wife right now for calling her that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yes, I didn't mean it was for me, I'm sorry. So, <laughs> I do that a bit. like, wait a minute. Throwing strawberries in my head now. <laughs> what is yell stuff, man? I heard this guy the other day. I'm, I'm waiting across the street. There's a girl next to me. There's this guy walking past. There's this thuggy guy just doing his thing, listening to music, you know, having a good time. He looks at the girl and he goes, Yo, what's up, baby? You married? Just got walked in, just walked away. Like, there's a lot of balls going right to the proposal, I thought. Like, you know? <laughs> Didn't want to take her out, just like right through, right, right to that. Like, what could she have said in that situation to make that okay, you know? Like, no, mother said you would come for me one day. <laughs> come back. Chase her for me. Uh. So, how'd you guys meet? Well, he screamed at me one day and he got married. Simple as that. On two separate occasions, regardless of what you may think already, besides that interaction there, I'm actually a very nice person. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm friendly, I'm pleasant, I'm fun to talk to, but my natural default face when I'm like walking down the street is just like this. I just look bored or like mean. I think I'm a big guy, so maybe that's what it has to do with it, you know? My default face is just like whatever. So on two <laughs> random occasions from complete strangers, I've walked past people and I heard them say, Yo, what's up, mean face? <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute, what, me? So then I was happy face the rest of the day, because I chuckled every time I thought of that. <laughs> mean face. That was pretty funny. If you guys did, that's alright. So. <laughs> right, right outside there, there's, uh, or wherever is that public pool in the hotel here. Uh, don't go to a public pool. It's insane. Like, you think these kids have never seen water before, <laughs> like the way they act like, like uh, animals. So here's my impression of an eight-year-old kid in a public pool on a diving board, okay? That's what I heard all day today. Dad, 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 watch, dad. Dad! 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 Dad, watch! Dad! For an hour! 
I heard the mom chime in. I heard, Billy, your father left three years ago. You know that. <laughs> <laughs> Jump in! That was me from my window. Jump in already! <laughs> Kid's like, Marco! <laughs> Just jokes, people. Just roll. Most of the jokes. <laughs> so many things to do where I live in New York. I end up going to Dave and Buster's like twice a month. I like to go to like the dumb chain arcade place and play games. I like playing games, it's fun. I love winning a lot of tickets. You know, you get those tickets and you trade in for like dumb prizes. I don't use the prizes though, I don't care. I just like winning the tickets just to feel cool when I win for the day. So what I do, I get like a thousand tickets. I'll walk around, I see a kid with like a big empty bucket. And again, because I'm a nice person, I'll be like, hey kid, there you go buddy, I'll scram. The kid's like, is that Donald Trump's? <laughs> Who was that? You know? like a cool guy. But then, here's what happens. The bad thing about that is that five minutes later, I turn around, there's like 20 kids following me. <laughs> they went to crackheads with giant empty buckets. Yo, man, let me get some tickets, man. Come on, bro. Let me get some tickets. I'm trying to get Laffy Taffy and some erasers, man. Come on. Let me get some, uh... Come on, dude. I'm trying to get some erasers. <laughs> I'm a big Knicks fan. Basketball. Are you a basketball fan, too? Woo! Nice, yeah. It's been a rough... Decade and a half. <laughs> I think we're gonna think we're gonna be good this year. I still got a lot of games, even though it's been rough. But um, I like the halftime show. I don't leave. I stay and watch. It's usually pretty entertaining. A lot of times, all the little kids coming out, shooting hoops, you know, playing in games, singing, dancing, whatever, playing instruments. I'm always really impressed how talented these kids are. Like eight, nine, ten years old in front of Madison Square Garden. I couldn't do anything at eight. I could barely do anything now at thirty-four. It looks forty-four. I know. Shut up. But listen. <laughs> so, like, they'll bring this kid out. In front of like 20,000 people, and they're like, hey, everybody, put your hands together for nine year old uh, Johnny. Johnny, he's from Brooklyn. Brooklyn! The whole place goes crazy, you know? Uh, Johnny here, he wants to be a neurosurgeon one day, and he's gonna play some Beethoven for it. And this kid just bangs out a beautiful Beethoven song. I'm like, good for him, he's going somewhere, you know? And I think, like, if that was me at nine years old, it'd bring me out, I'd probably trip on my pants would fall down or something stupid, you know? Hey, everybody, put your hands together for nine-year-old Brian here. Brian is from Massapequa. Anybody? No? Yeah. <laughs> he, um, well, it looks like he uh, can't stop touching his wiener. <laughs> <laughs> Just found out about that, it looks like. And then, uh, well, he's going to tell you what his favorite Ninja Turtle is, because <laughs> it's all his dummy nose at night. <laughs> I'd be like, what's a neurosurgeon, first of all? And, uh, Michelangelo, he's a party dude, thank you very much. <laughs> Drop the mic. <laughs> Giants fans, me too. Yep, can't wait. 5-0 and oh in the preseason. <laughs> so excited for that. That's great. Yeah, there you come on. I know. <laughs> This is a... this joke can go either way. The, um... <laughs> the guys. You know the whole Penn State stuff? It was disgusting what happened a couple years ago with the Sandusky thing, right? They finally gave a bunch of the kids, like, a settlement, which is awesome. You know, they, they gave out, um, like, 26... Uh, no, 57 million dollars in, like, settlement to 26 uh, different students, which is good. But there were 32 students in the case. <laughs> so there's, like, six kids walking around, like, Whose dick do I gotta suck to get some? So I'm married, been married for about two years. It's good, man. So far, so good. Um, she wants kids. Probably gonna have one soon, I think. We're not like nine months pregnant. Like it's gonna happen soon, I think. So I've heard. We're just you know, we may have one. Um, the doctor the other day, she's like, uh, said to her, if you're on birth control too long, there's some side effects. You know, you can get arthritis, you get diarrhea. Everything gives you diarrhea. Apparently. There's some side effects <laughs> and everything. I said, also a side effect I've heard is uh, no babies. So you know, <laughs> enjoy that diarrhea a few more months. Just, uh, <laughs> so we're ready. <laughs> You gotta share everything once you get married. You ready for that? You gotta share everything. Some of you guys are married, you know that. 
wasn't really prepared for it. I've heard I wasn't prepared. Everything I have now hurts just automatically, just like that, you know. As soon as you moved in, that's mine now, really? All right, that's how it works. I think she won that deal because I had some cool stuff I thought when I was single. <laughs> I had a big bed, a PlayStation, a big TV, I had all the fun stuff, you know. Now she's got, what did I get in the deal? I got uh, two cats and a curling iron. So, <laughs> three things I don't need. <laughs> Any cat people? You're probably a cat person. No. You're not, okay, fine, sorry. <laughs> Who's a cat person? Yeah, anybody right there? They're, just, they're weird, man. I'm a dog person. I've never had cats. She's had it for about 10 years. She's only known me for like six, so. I figure they're halfway done at this point. How long do these things last? I don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't do anything. I thought like they could never die. They just sit there all day. So here's how crazy cat people are, okay? Um, again, she's had two cats for 10 years. Um, they hate each other's guts, first of all. They're brother and sister. They're not brother and sister. One's a little gray cat, rainy, and a big fat Garfield cat named Henry. Okay? They hate each other. Hate each other's guts. Here's what happened the other day. My wife likes to buy me cards for special occasions. She'll just buy cards. And here, I got you a card for whatever, you know, which is very sweet and nice. She likes stock. She has like the stack of like cards in the bedroom. It's very creepy, actually. Really. One day, I'll use this on you. What the heck? So she comes home and she goes, I was buying cards, as she does, and there's a whole cat section of cards, all right? There's three different sections, and one said, from you to cat, right? The other one said, from cat to you, <laughs> the last one said, from cat to cat. <laughs> See this? Have you bought it? <laughs> so if you're not following, the first one is, you buy a card, you fill it out like an idiot, and you give it to your cat. <laughs> like it gives a fuck. It doesn't, cats don't care about anything, right? The next one was, you buy a card, I don't know if you fill it out or not. Depends how lonely you are, I guess. You put it, like, you put it by the cat, and then you say, Oh, thanks, Mr. Witten. Uh, my super cat, this is for me. Now you read the card, and the cat's like, Yeah, you're welcome. The third one means you buy a card for one of your cats to give to your other cat. It also means you're a total psychopath. So, right? A couple things wrong with that. Uh, you, you, first of all, you can never go back to that drugstore with that CVS because they'll have your picture behind the register. You know, if you walk in, you're like, oh my God. guys, look, it's a two cat front cat lady. They let her out. She's here. She's shopping again. She doesn't even have cats. She's just buying a card because she's crazy. If you seriously see that card, you're like, you know what? I'm gonna get this one. If you pick that out and like start walking away from that aisle, there should be somebody with like a taser and a straitjacket just like, this would drag you away <laughs> and throw you in the van because you've lost your mind. You're no good to society. <laughs> and then she starts like rationalizing to herself. She's telling me this. I'm thinking like, what the hell's wrong with my life now? She, again, the, the cats hate each other. So she's like. Well, would Rainy give it to Henry? Probably not. Rainy really doesn't like Henry that much. Henry might give it to Rainy just as a truce, just to be friendly. So I don't know. I'm like, oh my god, you seriously start rationalizing? Like, just blow your brains out right there and Dwayne Reed because he lost your mind. Blow your brain. Yeah, I mean, it was ridiculous. I did call Mr. McGinnis, your wife, she's lying here dead in the car. I'm like, oh my god, what happened? Is there a note? Yes, we found a note. It says, uh, two cat from cat. I'm like, oh. <laughs> I understand. She's like the walking dead, she turned. We gotta put her down, you know, her brain's mush. Her brain's mush, don't worry about it. Just throw away, it's alright. <laughs>